Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome to episode 6 of Minecraft Season 2. As you can see here, I got a light set up on the wall. Oh, not meaning to set one of these there. It's uh, set for this one to emit a redstone signal once it's full. So eventually this will light up. It'll be a while though. Uh, I don't have anything to burn, so uh, yeah, I'm not gonna spend coal on that. As you can see here, I had to upgrade my stone and dirt gravel and sand chest because I started to get a lot of cobblestone. I did transmute a couple of it into basalt brick and stone bricks, but I just have too much. I'm gonna find a way to burn this later, I suppose. Or we'll probably use it in uh, Thumbcraft, which is actually what I want to get started with in this episode. I finished digging out um, uh, the big temple area up in the jungle. And I'll show you that in a minute. But before we start, we have to grab a few things. We need to make a cauldron. Because we need to make a... Let me see, let me see, let me see. An infuser, but we also need to make a... Huh. I know what it is. I just can't remember the name. A crucible. So I need a furnace, a cauldron, and any crystal at all. We don't have too many crystals, but I'm going to pick up most of what's in this uh, Thomcraft chest, and we'll move it over to the other, uh, the other world. Well, the other area there. So let me just grab the axes and these and everything. There we go. And I'll set this to be an empty chest. We'll decide later. I also want to make... I should probably make that an iron chest. I wonder if I can make the iron chest immediately. I should probably just look it up. Iron chest. Yes, I can. Around a normal chest. And I know I have some of these normal chests. Yes, there we have one. So let's uh, quickly craft up an iron chest. Perfect. So this is going to be the main storage. I might have to get more of them later, but no biggie now. I also grabbed myself some teleport tethers. These are crafted like so. A lapis and then iron ingots around and you get four and I wanted to place this one down in this area here somewhere as you can see I activated the um, uh, the outline for the chunks so actually I could place it there and it would load up and keep these chunks loaded I think that should be enough to keep the machines up and running. We'll see. I'm not sure though. But that should work. So, let's uh, make a run over to the desert. As you can see, I haven't finished it up yet, but it's starting to look better. Down below, I currently have most of it in stone, but I do want to replace it with smooth stone of some kind. Um, I don't know. I'm going to let you guys decide on uh, if I want to use uh, just normal stone or smooth stone. And uh, no matter what you choose, I will be able to use... Um, in, uh, what do you call it? Ah, help me. E -E, equivalent exchange that uh, there is uh, an item that can that can really do fast transmutations um, so here we have it let me switch on the underground view it's just a simple construction like this I may, might make this a big open area later but for now I'm going to make this area, my starting area. I want to have sort of themed rooms. So this should be the research room, and uh, this over here should be where all the uh, V's energy is produced. And 
this room here could be the infuser room where I craft all the neat items and this could be I don't know storage uh, V storage I suppose so let me just find out where I want to start out we'll put this in one room for now and I'm gonna grab the iron chest and we'll put this in here the crystals the soul sand my nice little sword and all these neat little items and I wanna get back here in a bit with some items also a crafting table or so and uh, yeah I'll see you guys in a moment oh yeah almost forgot my reed farm here um, I do wanna move it so maybe we should start out moving that one and putting it near the temple or even in the temple I think near put it up on the surface somewhere I think that would be the best so let me just do that real quick or well I'll replant a bigger one there so so I'll see you in a moment once I have completed that digging project so be right back all right guys I finished up after a bit of work and uh, a lot of resources well not a lot of resources but a lot of digging I finished up the reed farm I am going to automate this and uh, considering its location I'll be able to pump everything down into the main Thorncraft area so that I will have a nice steady flow of reeds. But for now these are all I have, 30 of them. So I'll dump that off. I'll make myself a crafting table and we will want to start with a few things. Uh, and I see that I need to dump off some items and uh, be back with you. So, one moment. Okay, so this didn't quite work, it, work out the way I wanted. So, I'm going to remove this light here. Did I get it back? I might not have gotten that one back. Uh, I'll check behind here. Yeah, there it is. Um, all my machines came to a halt with a screech and uh, didn't want to continue working so it uh, turns out it doesn't want to emit anything unless I enable it to so I don't know but it's full now as you can see awesome fun so I picked up a bunch of items that I know I will need glass bottles, feathers because I'm gonna need to make this uh, Quesitum, quesitum, quesitum. Yeah, research thingy. Yeah. So let's head over and we'll see what I can find out. I dive into the water. Still need to find a good way to transport myself over here. Alright, so let's get going. Uh, as you can see, the reeds are already grown in here, and I'm gonna need some more paper, so oh, it's just one. Oh, well, I need to make this automatic. But also, I do want to place down a tether somewhere around here. What if I place it... Um, there place this one back on top. This should keep uh, this chunk loaded. So as you can see three chunks around it. So yeah. Well work. Alright so do I have visitors? No. Let me dump these off. We are going to dump this this. I brought two stacks of iron because I'm sure we'll need it. Uh, some wood, some extra chests, yes, just in case, and this green lamp for later. But for now, let's start with the simplest. We need to have, I think it's seven or eight iron ingots for this. We also need to make a furnace, like so. 
then we will want to make... Well, we can grab one of these. I have a lot of fire crystals, so let's use that one. The furnace, the cauldron, and the fire crystal makes the crucible. Now this is where the fun starts. So, I'm not sure when I want to place this yet. Because... Uh, I'll place it down there. Now, I can't stand in this. I think it hurts me. Yes, it does. Ow. This will burn any item that I throw in it. Like... Well, I'm not going to throw that. Like so. Oh. Like so. And it bubbles and it will burn. And eventually you'll see... Yeah, V's. Whoa. Our first bit of V's production. Now we want to make some V's conduits. So... Let's uh, make a bunch. Uh, that should do. I think the recipe is something like uh, this. Yes. And now we need to make the infuser. The infuser is made from three of these, but I'm actually going to need more of them. Because I need, I also need iron. Let me check. Infuser. There we are. So two on each side. Stone slabs t up top and any crystal. So let's grab another fire crystal. Like so. And like that. And we have our thomic infuser. We'll place that one down. here for now. I might want to move these things down later but yeah. Um, we want to run the V's conduits hmm. I'm not sure. We could probably dig down but I'm not sure how this would work so I want to run the V's conduits below but we're gonna have to do this at a later point so that uh, I can get a good design out of it. But for now, just run it like so. Okay, so I'm gonna neaten this up. Don't worry, guys. That's about it. Oh, I will now need uh, these three uh, things. Three of those, and I believe it's three iron for the... Uh, Q cas cas whatever Q block. I think that's Direwolf's name for it, and I'm gonna use it. Q block. It works. And of course, I didn't take these three. We can put these back. Why did they have to make this something that is so difficult to pronounce? I will put this on this side. This does not need any V synergy or anything, so yeah. Alright, so I suppose we should get started then. I know for sure we'll need some enchanted wood, but I don't have any eye for, uh, for that, so I'm gonna have to improvise. I don't quite know how to make them. Um, let me think. I need to look at the wiki. Hmm. Uh, hold on a guy. second, guys. Okay, it doesn't seem that difficult, so let's grab a couple of these and a um, couple of these. And let's just throw this in here. Put that there and crystals there. Okay, it did something. I probably need to burn a bit more of this. Well, this one is working alright, but yeah, that's not a lot of V's energy coming out of that. Oh. And also, we're building up with taint in here. What if I throw in an iron ingot? Uh, 
Well, that didn't last me very long. Wow. So these things do cost a fair deal. Um, what happens if I throw in a piece of gold? Okay, I got myself four enchanted wood. Well, that's good, I suppose. I did want to get more. Hmm. So, this is quite resource heavy. What about redstone? Is it worth anything? Not a lot. Hmm. Let's throw in some more iron. Okay. It's producing stuff, for sure. And it's almost there, so let's throw in some dirt. And there seem to be some Vs still in these. Okay. Um, the enchanted wood can be used to create Vis storage tanks. And this is something that we will need. Um, was that the recipe? Yes. So... Like so. That would be four of these storage tanks. So let's just put them like this for now. We'll come up with a better solution for this later. Okay, guys. Um, I totally feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. But that's fine. Let's make some paper. And um, we should really have a stack of stone. Maybe I do have that in the diggers. Yes, I do. Let's uh, put that in there and uh, throw in a stack of paper and see what happens. Okay, it starts researching. Wow, look at that. And uh, yeah, this takes some time. Hmm, right. Yeah, I'm not going to sit and stare at this, so if I do find anything interesting, it's got a 1% success chance and a 75% chance to lose the item. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to give us anything right away, so I'm going to wait and see if anything cool turns up, I think. So be back in a moment if something cool turns up. I got a nice 3% chance for this to success if I put cobblestone in each one of these uh, slots here. I think they boost research. As far as I understand it, that's how it works. Do I have anything in here? I got earthen crystals. We want to put these in here though. Because they will be very neat to have. I was hoping I would get at least something out of one stack of cobblestone otherwise. Now I'll have to find something else to research. We do have these nifty little things like artifacts, so maybe we should take a couple of the common ones. We just take out the paper and we put this one in. 10% chance to succeed. 11, 12, what if I put paper in there? 14. So let's try. Let's try one. See if I get anything out of this. Nope. Paper will be a nice renewable source of stuff later, so... Hmm. Come on, at least one discovery. 
No. What about paper? Low success chance. Well then, I will continue with this. And like so. And we'll continue on the artifacts later once I figure out how to increase the success chance. I'm gonna craft up another iron chest. Put it here. Okay, this solo chance is almost sad. Let's go up and check the read. Go away. Oh, awesome. We have growth. The cool thing with this uh, farm design is that nothing will fall down and get stuck and I can just walk around and pick everything up. Of course it's not optimal but hey it works. I'll work on getting it automated later. Right now though I do want to get at least one discovery. Come on. So we'll craft up some more paper then. Oops. That was not intended. Oh well. Okay. Um, what if I put wooden planks? No, not more than the rocks. Yeah, so keep half a stack of paper in there. I can put the paper in there and the leftover reeds. I don't have any reeds here. No. This one, I don't want to research yet. But I do want to keep trying on these. They had fairly high chance. So, let's do that. Something like that. And put that in, and it's got 12% now, so it's not super, but it might give us something. I hope. Okay. What about these? Fourteen percent. Come on. Yeah, I'll be back once anything. F oh wait, look at that. Fragment of lost knowledge. I'm gonna stop right away and put that one in there. It's got a twenty-five percent success chance, but also an eight percent chance of loss. So, about now, twenty-seven. Let's try it. Nothing. That's just sad, guys. We'll just keep doing it then. Try and get something out of this one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna sh need a bunch more paper, I think. and a lot of more resources in general, so I might have to go mining after this episode. Yeah. Come on here now. Could at least give me one. Yeah, that's one. Gonna let this one run until it's dead, so... Okay. So, if I remove that, what can I do to increase the chance? Did I actually lower the chance? No, I didn't. How about if I put in gold? It's a bit higher. I don't think it's worth gold ingots for that little chance, though. Well, let's try it and see. Oh, hey, nothing. Oh. So 
so sad. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave the machine running for a while with... Um, do I have anything else that I can... String, I have a lot of that. 6%. It's a bit higher than cobblestone, I think. Yeah. can put in the sugar as well. This is a cool thing. You seem to be able to research pretty much anything. But not to any success, I suppose. No. Alright, guys. I'm going to leave this one running with cobblestone in it. And uh, if anything turns up, I'll let you know. Yeah. Back in a bit. Oh, hey. Look at that. We got a fragment of lost knowledge. So, yeah. I'm just going to let this run for a while and see if anything else shows up. Alright, I'm trying this fragment of lost knowledge here. And we got nothing. So guys, um, I'm going to wrap this episode up soon. Um, we do need a fair deal of paper, and I'm going to move this block over to that room. Uh, the reason for this is... I'm going to make a room with bookcases around it. So... I put the block in here and then put on all these blocks just like I would with uh, uh, one of these enchanting tables and to make a bookcase I'm going to need wow you can cut these cool three books which is in turn a lot of paper so yeah, I'm gonna do that in that room over there, so I might actually be able to craft a couple now, so I'll do that, and we'll see how our chances improve. So, I'll be back in a moment. Alright guys, so I put this up here. I couldn't afford more than four bookcases right now, but there will be more, I can assure you that. Do we have any increased success chance now? Not really. Hmm... How odd. But the loss is... Oh, wait. I don't know. This is supposed to... This is supposed to increase the chance. Or is it just decrease the loss? I don't know. I'll leave it running though and see if anything turns up. Hmm. Now I'm just gonna dump this in here and uh, we'll take a look at this again. Nothing. But there seemed to be this little note thing is flowing toward the block there so it seems to be working but uh, I don't know it's not a lot I'll do something like that yeah we're definitely gonna need more bookcases I wonder if the third one would help, or if I need to put it below. I'll make this sort of a walkway down. Hey, where did you come from? Ah, oh, come on. That's just not fair. Damn creepers. Okay. I'm gonna need to borrow a few of these. That's a good thing I have. This one. Seems I got most of the pillar blocks back. I th 
think. No, I didn't. Not at all. Well, that sucked. I need to really put some sort of door on this, so... Um, I have to do that in between this and next episode. So, until next time, guys. Take it easy, and uh, I'll see you guys in episode... What is it now? Seven, I think? Yeah. See you in the next. Bye-bye.